What's up, YouTube? What's going on? Tina Racket here. Welcome back to Tina Racket Arts. Guys, welcome to the channel. I know some of you guys are new or some of you are sub and just don't really care to be here. But it's good to see some new uh, faces and some artists and shit. Okay. Guys, this channel is not as big at the moment right now, but I would love your support. If you guys enjoy my videos, make sure you guys push the like button, subscribe if you guys don't want to. If you guys don't want to miss any videos, make sure you guys hit that bell as well. But anyway, today we're going to be doing something different. Yesterday, I thought of something that I've been planning to do for a little bit. If you guys noticed on Instagram, my artwork has been getting a little bit better lately. Well, my, in my opinion, I've been, I kind of thought, you know, my artwork has been getting a little bit better. But I've been really impressed with my artwork lately, and I wanted to try something different. Today, I read you one of my old artworks from a few years ago, and I am I, I'm so impressed with how it turned out, bro. Now, if you look at the screen... <laughs> <laughs> yeah look 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 it was a few years ago bro look i was it was just i was in a position in my life where i just wanted to do digital art and i drew a lot of shit back then trust me i drew a, a whole lot of shit but regardless i wanted to try something different so anyway i'm gonna stop talking and let's get to the artwork the speed art real quick so hang on right back okay so now we got our speed art and we got the old artwork from 2022 2020 yeah, after I drew this, I was so impressed. I mean, it turned out, it didn't turn out, I mean, it turned out the way I, I was hoping it would, but it was it was different, though. So, you're probably seeing the difference a little bit. I try to, you know, make it more bigger and stuff, because the size of it is more bigger than all, since the other one was a little bit smaller, it's more boxed. So, first I start with my references real quick to try to, you know, copy down my other uh, artwork how my other art look like but i remember that um that i did copy a other a comic book online comic book cover online, and try to just you know like remake it and stuff but yeah it was it was, it was that time where i just started needing to like practice and stuff but yeah here i am adding the line art um it takes me a while to actually just do that line art in for some reason try to like make it smooth and some shit but it, it doesn't take that long it just takes me like like five minutes a little bit here i am adding the webbing i wanted to add just like a classic spider-man suit i kind of copied the original spider-man costume from the comics that steve Bicko made and i also had a struggle with the eyes i wanted to see like the type of the eyesight would be perfect for the spider-man but since i wanted to make like a manga versus spider-man you know like which one actually so, but yeah it, it turned out pretty good i just wanted to I kind of just thought, you know, maybe I should just like do the ones that I love. But the one, I, the one suit I like to do is the Alex Ross suit, the one that he creates. is so dynamic for some reason, but it didn't take that long. But it was actually pretty good. Sorry that my mic is kind of weird for some reason, but but yeah, do a skirt for uh, first time. That didn't take long. Actually, I had to look up online how to do a skirt. I'm not the best drawer. Sometimes I have to, you know. Like, how to you know draw some stuff. The hair didn't take me too long either. It was just a you know it was I didn't have to copy it. I just kinda copied the, the comic the original artwork of like so I um yeah I just kind of like went back a little bit. I had to look at my old artwork and my and the one page I copied for some reason it didn't take me long. I put my colors in separate each color is like separate like the blue is separate the red colors are separate too. Um the clothes, the eyes, the um, the hair, your, the skin is all separate for some reason because I want to add the cell shading. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that too during this process real quick. Um, shoot. But it's basically where you get to add shadows. Heroes right here. I just add blue. I click multiply for the shadows, and I kind of like turn on the opacity to make it look like it's more um, it's more shadowed. And I put it on each layer where the color is. And I just add like a, a clipping to it. But I can teach you guys how to uh, do that in a tutorial video. If you guys want. It doesn't take that long. And I blur the colors to make it look more, so make it pop and stuff. And I added the light to the colors. And then I started to like go back and like start to shade in. I started to add the cell shade again to make it pop even more. And I it turned out pretty, pretty well for some I, I actually did not start with And it had eyes as. Um, Alex Ross did, and I kind of like doing that for some reason. I might do that for some of my own, my new artwork. 
here I'm adding the uh, coloring of the clothes of Mary Jane. I I might have done it too. I might have kind of messed up the groove for some reason, but hey, I was I was kind of in the It only took me five hours to do this, so yeah, I'm still learning. I'm not the best at this, but hey, you know you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Uh, here I am adding the shadowing real quick. Um, yeah, adding some lighting to the leggings. Adding let's start adding like uh, skirt. It took me a a little bit just to do that for some reason, but I mean, hey, yeah, it, it turned out pretty well for some reason. I started to, you know, use the, the art brush, I mean, the airbrush, because I use IBS paint to draw on my artwork. I used to use um, Autodesk, but it turns out it wasn't, I didn't have like all the stuff I wanted to use, so was, and I just had to stop. So. But here I am adding the cell shading to the hair. I started to add lighting and blur those out too to make it look more realistic and stuff. And actually, the hair turned out pretty good. I, I actually thought I was gonna mess that up. It didn't take me long. Here I am adding the background. I tried to make it more nighttime, uh, just like the original. I tried to make um, like shooting stars and stuff. But yeah, it turned out pretty. I tried to make stars. I just put dots and stuff in the background in and try to, you know, just make it look more dynamic. I put a um, I did this filter thing where it makes it look like it's nighttime right here. You're probably seeing that right now. But yeah. It, it, the artwork looks pretty good. I, I can't believe the way it turned out. I'm actually impressed myself. But, hey, I'm gonna start doing this a lot more for some reason, but hey, I this is a business. So I'm not right now. But hey, this is the artwork right now. Um yeah, I hope you guys like it. If you guys think the other one is better, let me know if you like this one if this one's better. Let me know, because hey, if I get a lot of support from you guys, I can change my work sometimes. Well guys, that is it for uh, today. Make sure you guys watch the like button, subscribe, and join the um, channel. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm not this thing. Peace.